Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kentor. Let me get that out of the way because I want to talk about something real quick. All right. So I'm going to just jump straight to the point, right? This morning, some, well, something happened real bad last night that I won't get into the, I won't get into the specifics. Um, but something bad happened last night, something terrible. This morning, I woke up great energy. You feel me? I, I woke up ready to get to work. And I'm, I'm still going to do all that, but... I'm just gonna let you know how me hearing the news kind of affected my mood. Sometimes we have things happen around us in our lives that's unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? We have those things, we have those moments. It's it's, it's gonna happen. But this time I didn't invite, but I kind of did because I engaged in the conversation, but I didn't wake up with the intentions of having this on my mind. So be hearing this news, I kind of felt like it was weighing me down and had me um, thinking about it. Something that I had nothing to do with, it was out of my control, something that's involved somebody else in the decision that they make in their lives. Why is that bothering me? It's because I chose to engage in the conversation. The person who brought me the information is close with me. They have no ill intentions towards me uh, whatsoever, you feel me? But it's become so normal to gossip about things that other people have going on in their lives and just the negative, um, um, energy that people have directed their focus on right by me choosing to give my energy to that even though i had nothing to do with what happened it still affected my mood and these are the things that i need to i need to work on and this is me uh documenting it via youtube so that i can have a uh, better understanding so when i come back and watch this video that's something that i told myself i need to work on because it's true um, a lot of times that we, we have conversation with people, friends, family, you know, they don't necessarily have um, bad intentions for you. At least some of them don't. Sometimes the things that they care about and the things that they involve themselves in, you might not be interested in it or it's something that you're trying to remove yourself away from. You know what I'm saying? Something that you're trying to be better at and not uh, still participate in things that you feel are not you anymore. You know what I'm saying? You've outgrown your old ways, which I have also. A lot of times, the conversations that you will have, you feel me, those conversations aren't progressive. You feel me? Still on the same thing, still doing the same thing, still thinking the same way. And that too could put you at a standstill or it could, it could take you back notches and you'll find yourself back in your old habits. That conversation this morning helped me realize that words, I, and I already knew this, you feel me? I already knew that words are powerful, but even the conversations that you choose to talk about are powerful. And the things that you need to surround yourself with, like I need to surround myself around positive, positive um, humans. Have a positive relationship with people who's trying to progress forward and do the, some of the same things I'm trying to do, or not necessarily what I'm trying to do, but have aspirations and, and, and and goals, you feel me? And um, desires to be something better than they was before or better that's gonna progress life, you feel me? Because whether we choose to believe it or not, these these thoughts kind of shape, these conversations influence our thoughts, which influence our reality. Like these things that we think about constantly, you know what I'm saying, kind of project, we kind of project that into the world and we go about thinking about those things if you're not careful it could be reality or you could be moving towards something that's not beneficial for your life and i jumped on here to say that it's in, it's important for you to choose healthy relationships and healthy conversations to engage in and to involve yourself in because it's a lot of negative it's a lot of negativity that's going on right now and a lot of things that's um not for your overall betterment like it's not productive for life that you want to live. And I'm not giving I'm not giving advice to kind of remove yourself from friends and family that that are this way. I'm just speaking on the fact that we need to be careful. We need to be careful on, on the things that we we um that we say. And we need to be careful on the things that we choose to surround ourselves with. I have to do a better job of it and it's it is hard because these are your people and and they don't necessarily mean any harm but at the same time, you gotta do what's best for you. Like, I have to do what's best for me. And it's, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with choosing to choosing peace, bro. It's nothing wrong with choosing positivity. It's nothing wrong with wanting better. And a lot of times, I know for myself, sometimes we feel like we don't deserve it. Or we, we feel like if 
the people that can't come with us, if they can't come with us, then I shouldn't deserve it. But you can't help nobody unless you help yourself. And I know that's how cliche that is. Um, but it's the truth, bro. You can't help you can't help nobody if you don't help yourself first and if they don't want to help themselves. And that's something that I'm I'm learning still to this day. Something that I'm I'm learning as I progress forward and kind of move on from certain things that I was doing, move on from certain um beliefs that I held, you feel me? Progress forward, bro. Yeah, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, man. Those things that conversation was crazy, bro. And not necessarily that it was crazy in the sense of something that I haven't heard before, but it was more so that I was aware of like, then hold on, this affecting my mood right now. This is affecting how I'm even moving. Like I even found myself like, stop doing, like I was in the act of working. I was in the act of doing something. I hear the information and then I'm thinking about it. I completely stopped doing what I was doing. And for about an hour, an hour had went by. And I'm like, man, that just, it just stopped me from doing everything I, I want to do. And that was me in real time realizing that I got to find a way to remove myself from certain situations because it has an effect on my, my work habits and, my, my, and the things that I'm doing. I was literally in the process of working and I stopped, bro. And I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling that at all. But this is a step. This is a step for me acknowledging it. It's bringing more awareness of the things that I need to be better at. And sometimes you can't help uh, the conversation that people bring into your life but you have the choice to accept it or reject it you know what i'm saying and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with and the 10 toes down on what you believe in and, and, and the things that you desire because at the end of the day it's your life and if you're choosing peace i'll take that area i'll take that um 10 out of 10 times that's a fact but yeah that's all i really want to um jump on here and say so now i'm on a i'm on a mission to complete my day how i intended this morning um which I'm, a, I'm two hours late to the gym, so I gotta go do my workout. I'm about to grab something to eat first, then I'm gonna go head to workout. I just got my pre-workout from uh, from the store. But yeah, man, recognize the, the things that's taking place in your life in the moment that you need to change. That's basically what I'm what I'm hitting at, and mine just happened to be engaging in conversation that has that ser that serves me no purpose, no benefit, nothing positive. It, it, it was nothing that I needed to engage in, nothing I needed to hear, you feel me? And the fact that I chose to to, to talk about it or, or, yeah, talk about it with the people I was talking to it with, it affected my mood and it affected my, uh, my day, you feel me? So recognize the things that's, that's stopping you or um, that's getting in your way of progressing forward and try to come up with a solution of changing it. Like I'm still on the search of realizing or figuring out a way to change those habits. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand that, that being negative or isn't something that's going to be beneficial to, to me. And that's, that's just, that's just how, what it's going to be. You feel me? So yeah, man, I, I hope y'all having a great day. Hope y'all having a great time. This is the most I've talked in a while. We'll continue to figure this thing out. And till next time, I'll holla at y'all. Peace.